sometimes we forget why we're here. It's easy to fall off track. These help us remember. These battle scars don't look like the fate. Don't look like the Something no one else could see Tell me what it means when your faith is falling beneath your knees and My name is Mohammed Shakib and this is Master Deck. So today we are going to install a Nitrogen OS on a Redmi Note 3 So first of all you have to unlock your bootloader and make sure you have a TWRP recovery installed in your phone So we without wasting any time let's get started with power of your device Then you have to press the power button and volume up button simultaneously to boot into the recovery mode. So we are in the TWRP recovery mode. Make sure you take a backup before installing any ROM. From here swipe to backup and then go back. Now we have to go to the wipe and advanced wipe. Check everything except internal storage and a micro SD card. So check everything. and. We do not have to check internal storage and a micro SD card. So swipe to wipe. Now you have to go to the install and select the Nitrogen OS which is here. So here is the Nitrogen OS. So here is the build number. It's a 15th of January build. So here is the Nitrogen OS as you guys can see over here. Select this this zip file then you have to just swipe to confirm flash so now the rom is successfully installed now we have to go back and install this fpc fix so just select this swipe to confirm flash and now you have to select uh, the gaps file so just select this one and now you have to just swipe to confirm flash So if you want to have a VOLT on this ROM then flash the VOLT zip and then just swipe to confirm flash. So now we have to do just hit the reboot system now. So this is the Nitrogen OS as you guys can see over here. We also get a VOLT support on this ROM by, by flashing the zip file. So let me go to the settings and show you this is the nitrogen os so here we got a uh, nitrogen os by nitrogen project and here is the c log and all this stuff here is the redmi note 3 the security patch and here is the kernel and also the kenzo this is based on 7.1.1 so here is the nougat so here is a the nougat logo over here so we gonna test uh, into the benchmark on this thing there is no app running on the background so let's start and i will show you the score after we completing this test so we got the score of 79472 on an to do benchmark that's a pretty good score on this rom so this is a pretty much a uh, really great score on this rom so yeah so let me go to the what we can get in this ROM so we got the personalization and also get the root access this is a nitrogen OS option so first we gonna check out the personal personalization option from here here we got get a status bar which we also get in many other ROMs so also you can see that uh, you can change the clocks uh, clock to the centers and and also you can you can select if you want to have a am or pm you can normally do that as so i don't want to have so i got for the hidden we want to have a full 
normal found size so here we get a normal size found on here written here over here is monday so also we get a lot of uh, lot of information about this this is the format if you want to have a format you can also select this so i want to have uh, this monday 16 so here slash monday 16 if if i want uh, the date date on the right side so you can have that over here so that's a pretty much great thing about this rom this is a really nice thing on this rom so we do have a battery option over here so here is the battery battery style you can change to the circle circle over here you can see that or if you want to have uh, any other text and if you want to have a big circle or small circle or anything like that if you want to have a landscape icon so you can do that as well so it will show you the battery so the percentage near a battery while charging so if you if you plug in the charger then we, you will show the percentage of a battery over here so custom battery title over here so you can do that as well so let me go back and show you the more thing here is the network traffic when you are, are uh, browsing the internet and it will show the TV or MB on your up on the status bar so if if I enable this look over here you can see the KB download and upload over there so let me go back and show you the career label if you want to so show uh, like uh, at l 4G or uh, geo 4G in your status bar you can also do that by doing this if you want to show only for a uh, lock screen you can select this one so let me go back and show you the more things about this ROM. That is a lot of customization for this ROM. So this is an image header. Uh, if you can see this is the normal status bar. If you want to have an image you can also select this one. So you can look like this. This, this is an image on this. So let me just... Uh, uh, just hold for a couple of seconds if you if you want to have this kind of a headers let me select the natural one and just uh, tap for a couple of seconds and it will set it up for you so here we yeah, if you want uh, if you are rebooting this device then you can show the headers so headers back uh, you got a uh, nitrogen like this if you can change this it will automatically change the header header image pack if you if you select this nature so it will change the header for you so this is a pretty nice thing or also you can browse from here if you want to let me go back and show you here is the header image uh, shadow you can also show the shadow of this so this is a great thing and also we got a brightness control by sliding across the status bar you can also do that in other roms and as well as on this so this is pretty much a cool features on this rom so if you have uh, any kind of bluetooth device then this this is for you if you enable this uh, while you're connecting to the bluetooth headset it will show your bluetooth battery battery life so this is pretty much cool feature about this status bar there is a lot of things about this so here we got a quick setting i don't want to show everything so here is the something is same you can cook you can uh, select the arrow and small and you can change the arrow from here and also the quick smart so show the brightness icon show the brightness icon to the left on the brightness slider adjusting to the auto brightness if you have a a brightness like this if if I goes like this it will automatically adjust the brightness for according to according to the lighting condition so yeah so here is the navigation a navigation button which is really useful and really nice so 
so here is the orientation you can also enable this when you are 270 degree means the landscape it will have also have a this navigation bar in that position so dynamic navigation if you have uh, anything app related to that color it will match that this is a pretty nice feature of this so let me enable this this is a navigation mode if you want to have this kind of a mode here is the navigation uh, navigation mode and we select the filling so let me just cancel it and show you here you can go back now you can see this is uh, the filling if you do this kind of a gesture it will pop the recent if you do that it will gone so this is a really nice feature if you do that kind of a thing it will not appear if you do a slide on this navigation bar it will pop up the recent this is a pretty nice feature about this rom and you can also setting over here you can do that by actioning right here there is a lot of lot of information about this rom this is a really big thing so here in portrait i just want to stick to the normal one so i will go that status bar setting if you can do that as well you can also do in this setting if you want to change if you want to have any changes you can do in the status you also have a notification also have this thing I can't even that. so this is a really nice thing we have a tons of uh, tons of customization in this rom so so customization is, is great in terms of uh, customization it is a really nice ROM I think second best uh, after second best ROM after resurrection remix so let me check out a camera on this thing so yeah camera front camera is working let me check uh, the front one it has a bug so it is not stable camera on this rom so yeah we can click pictures let me just uh, toggle through a front facing camera for now and it will done it so so yeah front facing camera and back camera uh, rear camera is working on this rom let me just go back and uh, here is the camera error comes up you can also download uh, the footage camera from place or if if you have this kind of a if you have uh, this kind of error you can also download the footage camera from play store dismiss that let me try out once again if it work on a video mode or not so let me just select the video just selecting the record button so yeah it can record a video so right now it's recording a video and let me just stop this so it is a buggy camera not the staple one on this rom the only thing on this rom is not working the second thing i'm really worried about i think the torch light uh, torch and also the torch light is kind of a working for now on look at that it, it, ha it does have a bug on on uh, this rom but after a few times it will work like that so now the flash flashlight is also working on this rom so yeah we do have to check out uh, vld is working or not so So yeah, VOLT is also working on this ROM perfectly fine. Like we flash, like we flash a zip file for that. So recent menu are kind of a different than uh, any other ROMs. So here we get a lot of this thing. We get get the clear button over here as a as a dustbin icon. So this is a nice thing. So if you click here, all clear this is a nice feature about this rom if you have any question related to this rom you can do comment down below in the comment section so yeah 
so yeah that's all thank you for watching please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit like comment share and many more awesome videos are coming soon on the channel thank you for watching bye bye thank you